Welcome to your quick intro on how to make a video using Powtoon. To get to this screen, I went to powtoon.com and I signed in and I have to sign in with my Google account. After signing in, it takes me to this page, asks me what kind of project I want to start. I also have some important items on the side. So I could start with a template if I want to have something that's kind of set up for me where I only have to put in my information, change it and customize it myself, I can do this. However, a lot of the templates are uh, pro or pro plus items only. So with your free account, you want to scroll down to one that does not have pro or pro plus next to it. This five fun tips one is option, company objectives, does not have anything like that. And I could start with one of those. A lot of these, like I said, I have to keep, keep scrolling through until I see them that are not pro plus or pro. So I saw one down here that I wanted to use as an example. It was Five quick facts. So as you can see, um, it gives you a preview of what this template has, and then you'll have spaces to put some images. You can change these backgrounds if you'd like to, but this part's already set up for you. The other thing that some people would rather do, rather than having to go in and change everything that doesn't make sense for their project, is to create something from scratch. So instead of going to templates, I go to create. I'm going to choose horizontal for a presentation. And it is going to give me just a blank slate. Um, it'll start by asking me what kind of theme I might want for this how to and I can choose any theme I can always go back and change it if I'd like um, so it tells me do you want something modern looking those are some examples down at the bottom whiteboard is mostly black and white cartoon has more of the features that I might want to use so I'm going to choose cartoon for my example you don't have to choose that now it's a totally blank slate. It looks a little bit like setting up Google Slides might because on the side I have the different slides that it's going to go through. Um, on this first slide, I might want to start by setting a scene. These will set me up with some intro scenes. Here's another spot where you want to try to avoid the ones that say pro or pro plus just because those will have um, some features that won't let you share it later so i might want to use something like this for my title slide clicked on it and it tells me some of the places where i need to add some information so i can add some information here Click in these different text boxes. And I can go through and edit this how I want. If I want to move some things over, I can move the sunshine over this way. Move the clouds. Okay. So it gives me some options here. Then I can go to my next slide. Might want that to have some sort of different setup so I can try maybe some specifics. And oh, this one might have places where I can add different pieces of information. If I want to include a little piece of clip art that's not here, that is what these pieces are for on the side. So I can add characters, I can add props, tells me what the basic ones are. I can do a search for them. Okay. 
if I want in this one a mountain, I can do a quick search, pull in some mountains. The color wheel will let you choose the color you want your image to be. Um, take out that search so I can look for other things. If I want to add my own image, maybe I have an image of one of the Greek gods and goddesses, I can include my own images or I can use the ones that they have for free. You can include different sounds, um, your own music, some music that they have. You can include a voiceover if you want to be talking about some of these things as they go. And then some of the other things that you might want to be aware of are this slide bar at the bottom. If I hit play slide, it's going to tell me when the different pieces of this animation pop up. So if I want this section to pop up later, I have to move things around on this timeline at the bottom. Otherwise, they'll just show up in this order. Maybe I want those mountains to show up earlier. I can move the mountains to the beginning here. So that those things show up at the same time. And I think that is mostly what you need to know for now.